On September 6, a special allotment release order or SARO amounting to 7,680,772.00 million pesos was released by the Department of Budget and Management to cover the funding requirements for the Full Motion Flight Simulator Facility Project, Support Facility, Flight Simulator, of the Philippine Air Force. The total cost for the project amounts to 8084 141 41 million pesos and the remaining amount will be given by the government after the final inspection and acceptance of the newly built structure. This development could also coincide with the acquisition of a full motion flight simulator. From the latest update provided by the Department of National Defense, this project already had its notice to proceed last June 30, 2022. With the project delivery period of 545 days, one and a half years, it's expected the simulator will be delivered in time for the completion of the flight simulator facility. The full motion flight simulator the Philippine Air Force will have is an interchangeable type of simulator that can be used for a variety type of helicopter models. In the case of the Philippine Air Force acquisition, it will be used for both the Bell 412 and AW-109 choppers. The full motion flight simulator project has a total cost of 246 million pesos. This type of project although smaller in stature compared to the significant big ticket items in the ongoing AFP modernization program is a vital type of project to have. The simulator can provide the needed flight training and preparation for new inexperienced pilots and crew to sharpen their skills without leaving the ground. Bonds QPH hopes that more projects like this will be implemented as the Philippine Air Force still has other types of aircraft in their inventory from the big airlift aircraft to the sophisticated combat air assets, all needing flight simulators and additional facilities. Not to mention the Philippine Navy and Philippine Army also have their respective aviation groups.